Once again, welcome you all to today's class. Uh, we will start the class right away. As you know, that there's no play in Moscow. Everything is about Russian, Russian in Russia, as you know. So we're going to look at uh, the consequences of cutism today, as well as the means through which individuals or the government can apply to prevent cutism. That, that's going to be our business today. And today we are going to put everything up as regards the topic cutism. So please listen attentively. I shall share my screen with you. Yeah. I believe you can see some kind of destructive scene and some pathetic situations from the PowerPoint you are looking at. These are what the activities of the secret society of court group can cause. And I'm going to test from your own point of view, based on what you have seen, what you can say may likely be the consequences of the court uh, activities in our society. I'm going to take that briefly from uh, some of you before I do justice to some things here. Okay. If you have anything to say, raise your hand. And if you don't want to raise your hand, I will call. From what you have seen, okay, or let me pause you are excited. Let me listen to you. From what you have seen, tell me one consequence of uh, what is okay. All of you, you are excited. Um, What's your name, Rooney? You are excited. I will recognize you. Yes, because you have 30 seconds. Okay, um, there's noise where you are. Tell those people that are making noise there to stop their noise. Yes, I'm listening. I'm used to killing of innocent lives. Okay. The what I'm saying is that the uh, one of the effects or the evil consequences of uh, cutism is that it causes the loss of life. Okay. Allah Jumoke said it lead to death. Yes, if you can see from the screen, you see some people on the floor. First image, you see somebody on the floor with a pool of blood. Okay, thank you, thank you. Um, let me now take all that that have raised their hands. Saddam. Saddam. Your network is. Saddam, it may lead to expulsion. Thank you. A court is can be expelled, not can be. If, uh, if, if a person is found to be a member of a court group on campus, the person will be expelled from the institution. And just imagine what it takes to gain admission to a higher institution now. And the person will gain the admission will not because of something that is not productive, something that cannot earn him good image to lose the admission. When expelled, they will tag the person. The name will be published in the newspaper in most cases. There's no university will accept that person. That person become a liability in the society to the family. He cannot go to any university again. Only God will help him for him to, to get his way back. The ministry said it causes destruction of properties. Thank you very much. You can see from the last image, uh, the last two images there, you will see a fire. That is what a court group can cause in society, especially when they are trying to retaliate of, on certain evil done to them. You see some level of destruction you can notice in this place. Thank you for that imagery. Oh, let me listen to Sroni. Really? Sir, it leads to increase in crime. Increase in crime rate, of course. Thank you very much. I love that. So, 
in most cases, when people are trying to establish court group, okay, trying to, you know, the other day we're looking at reasons for the formation of court. One of them was the uh, agitation for justice. You want justice, I want justice. I have established group, a group with my people. You have established a particular group with your people. At the end of the day, you will find that in the quest of taking law into our hand, there will be so many criminal activities that will have been wrought in the society. It's a, it's a, it's a negative, it's in fact, there's nothing good about courtesy anyway, but that is the consequences of, uh, that's one of the consequences of uh, courtesy. That you, 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 you see all this thing now. It's telling you the reason you have to avoid anything related to courtesy. Okay, let me see who says, who says the reason hand here. This reason hand here. Okay. You raise your hand, you are anonymous with uh, no picture. I will not recognize you. My Lord, remain. If you send me a message and you are the type that doesn't display your picture, I will not read your message. Yes, I've told you the laws of the Medes and the Pasha, nobody changes. Mohammed, I will not read your message. Thank you. That is it. I like my okay, be careful next time. Hmm. All right. You have all spoken very well. The late comma, you are welcome. We started the class. Nine is nine. Okay? There's nothing like African time. All right. Timba Jessica, you have joined their group. Okay? You used to be one of the good ones in my class. All right. Oh. Uh, you have actually answered the question beautifully well. Okay. At the same time, I will want to also draw some kind of those of you that are coming late, you are disturbing me. Hmm? See, this is what Saddam said that we said that cutting lead to expulsion from school. Not only in university, even in secondary school. If the person is found to be a courtist, the person will be expelled. And you know, if the person is expelled being a courtist, that is going to affect the person with you. You know, this is a political regime now. If you come up now that you want to be a senator representing your territorial district, or you want to represent your constituency, your state house or assembly, or you want to be governor, Somebody will go and bring your history out that hmm, this man does not deserve to be our leader. Okay, he cannot represent her because he was formerly a court member. He was expelled from the university or from secondary school due to court related matter. And if that is investigated and found to be true, forget about it. You are gone for it. Mm -hmm. You can't. So that is why you must be very careful. Those of that send me say your messages, I, re I receive your messages. So it's not time for me to receive anybody, anything from anybody now, for my own time. Now, you, I said you must be very careful. Guide your activity jealously. Whatever you do today, don't think that you are, you are too small. It we can't engage you or for you tomorrow. If you, because of one euphoria, join a group to go and rape somebody now, somebody will keep the history. The time will come that you might have left the group, you might have become a saint. Somebody might will use the history of today against you. So please, please. Be careful. I'm not taking any hand now. Be careful. And I said glorify violence and destructions of property. Somebody has actually said that increased crime rate in society. That is one of the... You see, we, we have uh, court activities in operation in a country, in a society. In such, such a society, we witness different form of uh, what? Violence. As you can see, Okay. If 
some are destroying property, some may be killing people, you know, some may be burning fire. So people today, they will break into the house, some will be robbing banks and be robbing home. That is what I mean by glorify violence and property to destroy. I just have seen in the screen. Okay, and care is not taken. Some people that are courtists, their parent may not be a court member, a stand, but when it happens, the resources built by their parent for years will be destroyed. What their parent built for years will be destroyed by their children. What happened in my area a few days ago? The, the son happened to be a court group, being a court group, and the rabbi court, they were fighting, they went to go and match someone, and the guy ran away. The other court group could not get in touch with the, the guy in question. They had to go to the father's house to go and destroy the father's house. I think that is a lesson too to some parents that fail to take care of or take care of their children in the right uh, value. Causing cause death of many students in on Nigeria campuses and uh, the society. Somebody has said that you can see you see you see here. These are some of the things that happen on campuses. Okay, so I don't need to dwell more about that. If in most cases. The rabbi court kill themselves. Why in most cases, innocent citizens are also killed. Okay, that is how they destroy life on campuses. There's no hidden thing about that. It encourages this rape and the spread of sexually transmitted diseases. Of course, you understand this very well. I said the other time when I was giving you the synoptic analysis of the court group, I said that aside the evil men that rape, okay, that may also carry disease, and they proceed that in the rape victim. Even some ladies too, that are courtists, they also rape men to spread diseases. They rape some men, possibly to punish the wife at home. So you can see how court, court activities should be, why court activities should be discouraged in the society because of the deadly consequences. Okay, so please do everything possible in your own to avoid this group. It invokes unnecessary fear in the heart of, this, of students, not only students, even in the general society. When we have court group in operation, there will be unnecessary or palpable fears in the hearts of the people. You could remember some years back, at two years or three years ago, during the reigning of a Bado in Lagos State. The fear of Bado was the beginning of wisdom, especially in the Korudu areas where the group perpetrated different heinous evil. So, and you know, fear caused many things. Fear caused hypertension. Fear caused, fear can make somebody to die suddenly. This has some of the consequences of court uh, activities, okay? And the reason, see the consequences now. It is a no for you to do everything possible to avoid it or being a member. Okay. Um, going out of the consequences, how do you think we can prevent courtism? How can we prevent courtism? Yes, I want a response. To tell it for those that have not spoken before. From what you have learned, you should know how we can prevent courtism. Okay, Saddam, I see you have spoken. I you have spoken. Who else has not spoken here? Some of you always want to be passive. Let me listen to Jessica this time around. What are some of the ways you think criticism can be discouraged in the society? Leke, yes, I will recognize it because you follow my guiding principle here. Leke said, by giving a no punishment. <laughs> okay. Mr. Emmanuel. Yes, I'm listening to you. 
Parents should take time to understand their children. Okay, parents should take time to understand their children. In that, guys, maybe let me polish that your statement very well. Parents should pay attention to their children. Because when you pay attention to your children at home, it helps you to know the pattern of life of that uh, child or, the, or, the, or of the children. Okay? Yes, I take that from you. Then, Timmy, uh, they by reporting any court group you see in your area to the necessary authority. Thank you. Yes, that is uh, another way. When you notice the activities of any court group in your society, in the society, please make sure you report to the necessary authority. Okay? Report to the necessary authority. That if the authority acts swiftly, it will prevent the likely occurrence of the same uh, dastard act. Uh, Dominion said, government and no government agencies should step up their campaigns against courtesy and the destructive uh, tendency. Thank you very much, Dominion, for that. Yes, governments should step up the game. Thank you for using that step up the game, meaning that Government have been doing a lot to prevent cutism, but your 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 efforts hmm, will just be in vain if the desired result has not been achieved. The effort of government will be in vain if the desired result has not been achieved. So government should ensure that the games, the method put in place to fight cutism, should be step up to prevent the dastard. Uh, thank you very much for, for that, Dominion. Uh, Brolin said effective security in school. Okay, <laughs> okay. Okay, now, now, now what is trying, what is trying to say is that in the school, either at the secondary school, tertiary institutions, government should ensure that there's a kind of provisions of security. You know, these court activities in most cases is, are prevalent where there are poor security network. Okay, that's what Ronnie is trying to say. When we have effective security put in place, and they are doing their work as they're supposed to do it. This one way or the other will help to prevent the heinous uh, acts. But he said, moral education should be made compulsory at all levels of learning. Thank you very much for all my, all my courses. Moral education is fine. That is the brain behind of everything. Okay? If you put security in place, the government made law. If we fail to teach moral, just as I'm teaching you now, in your first time, SS1, I taught you values. Of course, I told you the type of value you must impart. This that is part of the moral education. In all the values I taught you, there's no area that I taught you should be a courtist. And today that I am teaching you the dangers of courtist. In part of you, this is a way of letting you know the dangers embedded in belonging to a court group and why you must avoid it. It's part of the moral education. Okay, thank you for that. Allow me pause. Oh, Dominion. Some people are silent here. Dominion had another message here. Okay. Uh, Temidure, let me start from Temidure. For Temidure said, provision should be made for people that are poor so that they won't need to join court to make money. Okay. I love that. So you might have not put it very well. Okay. You see, at times, frustration makes people to go or seek solace or get a kind of help where they shouldn't have gotten the help. Those people that are well to this society should also help the poor ones so that their poverty, mm, their abject poverty will not lead them to seek solace by joining a court group. You know, the hand you help today may one way or the other be, I, I'm sorry, the hand you fail to help today may one way or the other be a threat to you tomorrow. You have the money, help the poor. Thank you very much for that, Dominion. Dominion said, Parents should resist from being members of secret court and also prevent their children from joining them. Thank you very much. Some parents that are court members should do away from that because whatever you do, your, your children at home, they are monitoring you. They are looking at you just like a child, a, a, a year old child, even if it's maybe, maybe even nine months old. You carry your phone and say, hey, yo, eh? Did you teach that child how to make a call? No. But he has done that because I've been looking at you. If your children at home, they notice that you're a court member, 
they will likely become a courtist. Okay. Uh, Joseph said, politicians should not use courtists to rig election. Okay. Thank you. If these court group court members are not used, if they don't have recognition in society, especially during elections or to cause some kind of that start ads, there is no serious reason to join the group. Thank you for that. anti courtism group should be created to curb courtism. Oh, uh, that is from uh, Taylor Michael. Taylor Michael, we have anti courtism group. Okay, we have this. In fact, you go to the Nigeria police. You just said that they should step up their games. We have all this uh, uh, in the Nigeria police, but we have anti robbery and anti courtism group. If they cash any court, the person is in trouble. Okay, the only thing just said that they should step up their game and their network should be what made open. They should not receive their operation to a particular area. They should all spread their tentacles around the country. Saddam said, the fear of God should be inculcated in the heart of students. Thank you very much. That is very important. We must teach the fear of God. When you fear God, you will not go and form a court because you want justice. You will not go and rape somebody. You will not want a result where you have not labored. Okay? Because according to James, for those of that are CRS students here, James said, show me your faith with that word, work. Meaning that you must what? Work. You must not expect the result. You must expect to pass a subject or a court when you have not do the needful. Okay. Uh, uh, Amos Odella, they said, strong legislation should be made against people who involve in court system. Or uh, like they, I will correct that. There are legislation against courtesy already. Okay, you just said that the legislation against courtesy should be appropriately implemented. Okay, there are legislation already against courtesy. Oh, for see, let me read the data of uh, Queen of Bon and Yola. He said, moral education should be made compulsory at all level of learning. Thank you very much, uh, Enola. Moral education, just as I'm doing now, should be made compulsory at all. Level. I think government has done that too. Government has done that in nursery, primary, secondary, tertiary educational. We, the students are taught uh, moral education because education without moral is useless. That is why I love the great affair. Hmm? When they, if, you, if you see people that graduate from great affair, get that certificate. If it has its logo as a learning and culture, and as it, yes, I guess something like that. Let, let learning and culture, something like that. But there's something very damning to if is that for them to issue a certificate, they will tell you that you have been satisfied academically and moral wise, you are okay. So you don't just get the certificate because of your academic excellence. You must be morally upright. And that is why in our school here at Goodbye College, moral attitude of the student is one of the jammy aspects. If you are a first class graduate and you lack the moral value, you are a useless person in society because it takes the moral principle for you to soar higher in the society. So far, so all of you are eyes. Your message from Saddam and other you have all spoken well. I, I loved your responses. It shows that uh, some of you have actually read ahead of me and uh, you have done some things. You have said it all. There's nothing I'm going to say again as I what you have said. These are some of the things you have said here. Okay. Uh, you, have, oh, you have mentioned everything. Who is sending the message again? Pimba Jessica. Avoidance of bad friends. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Uh, Amber Triumph. Oh, uh, let me see you. I can see your hands up. But I have a rule here. If your video is not displayed, I don't recognize the students who does not turn on his video. Please turn on your video for it to be recognized. Thank you. Oh, um, well, what, what, what is what is? Yes, you are correct. Brian, you are correct. You are correct. Okay. In fact, you have spoken very well. Thank you very much for that. I need to leave this level with me that you have understood this uh, topic in this perspective. Try on, please. You know, you are coming to the class for the first time. You are attending my class for the first time. I need to see you. Okay. This is a loving class you love to be. So let me know you, please. So that's. 
I can entertain your question. Divine, you come late today. All right, next year, we are going to look at uh, the government rules or policies against courtesy. Yes, uh, I have not seen Joshua here today. I've not seen him. Is he here? Joshua, if you are here, raise your hand. You know, you have not. Okay, Joshua is here. You know, he's a normal, normal person. He always like to disobey the rules and regulations of the class. Okay, I'm going to do justice to this work. Okay, when we say government, what are those mechanisms that government has put in place to ensure that cortisol and disrivaging effects become a thing of the past in the society? One of such is that governments at various level enact enabling laws proscribing cortisol. Okay. If you are not aware, hmm? if you are not aware, I am telling you today, there are a lot of different enabling laws made by the government in the society to prevent the formation of court and its activity. When I say prescribe, I mean prevent hmm? or kick against any form of the activities of a uh, court in the Society, you, you can there are good different states have its own law. Aside the one made by the federal government, different states have different law that uh, one way or the other kick against the activities of a caste group. Then governments ensure that the newly admitted students are made to take out of allegiance. Hmm? that they will never belong to a secret court. Yes. In the schools, when you get to higher institution, OK, Dominion, you are cited. Thank you very much. I love that. I love your message. OK. If you get to higher institution, what during the matriculation, some of you that, those of you that are not aware, during matriculation, welcoming you to the university, you know, you get matriculated at the first system when you get to university first. And uh, when you are going out, when you have satisfied all necessary conditions, you get convocated. During matriculation, you take out of allegiance that you will never be a member of a court. That is one of the policy of government to prevent uh, courtism. And for your information, you will sign. In most cases, you will have surety that will sign with sign it for you. And that is why you see that. Government also has one of the policies that they expel any students, hmm? expulsion of any student found to be a member of the secret uh, court from campus or campuses. Since you have signed that you not be a court member, if you later found to be a court member, the person will be expelled. Okay, Saddam, you are cited. Okay, you are cited. Government enhance security according to Saddam in the university, that's one of the policies. Governments always enhance a security network in the university to ensure that the activities of court are put uh, what are brief. Yes, government ensure that apprehended courts are prosecuted and sentenced to jail or death, depending on the gravity of the harbor of rock in the society. Okay. Those people that have the money that government supports courtesy, you are, you are seeing the role, all the policies put in place by the government now. If a person is found to be a courtesy and is, is arrested, you will be prosecuted in law, at the law courts. Okay? The judgment will depend on the gravity of the offense committed. If that courtesy has committed murder, either directly or indirectly, the person will also be sentenced to death. But if the activities has not led to have not, have not led to something destructive to a reasonable extent, the person may be sentenced to uh, some terms, mm, some, some jail terms in, uh, in, in a correctional center. Now, we don't call it prison again. We call it, we call it a correctional centers. 
in this uh, different this uh, dispense uh, administration, but we don't know how correct the center is because most people that go to that place, when they come back to society, you see some of them they come back to come and become more hardened criminals. So I don't know what has been corrected in their life. Maybe we will get to that soon. Public enlightenment campaign against courtesan. One another thing is that government campaign on using different platform. Okay. Using different platform to keep against different form of uh, court activity. Okay. Governments use different platform to campaign against uh, courtesan. See it using televisions, radio, newspaper, even use B boards. Hmm? Get to we get to if those of that have been to maybe Unilar joining campuses, any of the campuses in Nigeria, at the gate of any university, you will see say no to. I know you are calling it over there. Say no to courtesan. Hmm? Say no to courtesan. Say no to sexual abuse among others these are some of the things you will see at the front at the gate of uh, uh, universities across the country so these are many means of uh, kicking against uh, court activities and methods or rules played or policies put in place by the governments there are many others many other rules Played by the government to prevent cutism. So far, so good. We have come to the end of the topic called cutism. And for if there's anyone of you that have missed any of the classes or the, the subtopics, you can get the videos that I shared. Watch it, listen to it. Then from there, you pick your point. And if you have any question yet, that after watching such, you can pop that in through my WhatsApp line. I will respond whenever I am less busy. That is all we have. Look at the meaning of court, the meaning of courtesy, historical background, then reasons. People join court. As well as reason for the formation of courts, we have looked at the consequences of being a court member or, or practicing courts. We have as well looked at the roles played by the government or the means or ways through which court courtism can be prevented in the society. These are the way you can come across question. Thank you very much. It is time for me to take your question now. Time for me to take your question. If you have question, raise your hand. If you have question, raise your hand. And for your information, just I've told you before, if your video is turned on, you raise your hand, I will not recognize you. Yes. If you have question as related to the topic, courtesan, either the question is for today's subtopics or it's for what we have done before, because today we will, I'm going to cover the book on the, of the topic called courtesan. God willing, when we meet next, we will be dealing with the topic called law and order. So you have the privilege now to ask questions on the topic called courtesan, if you have any. If you have any, you can see the button there. Raise your hand. Yes, been by Jessica. Yes. 
Um, I still find this too confusing. Children, what? Uh, how do parents upbringing um solution at children to this? Your network is breaking. Um, wow. Uh, let me move to another place. Okay, you can send it. Send it a message. Send it a message. Okay, sir. Yeah. So, while I'm waiting for the response from a uh, thing by Jessica through a message, if there's anybody that has question here, and maybe you are shy, but let me also tell you: if you send your message and your video is not on, I will not read your message. Also, you are telling me that you are my Lord, you can control me. Divine, any question? Okay. Brian, any question? Brian, you only see his head. You don't see the other thing. Maybe he's pressing something on that. It's going. I'm coming, please. All right, let me read the Jessica message now. It's going to say, how can parents or bring him? Or how can parental or bring him? Serve as a prevention of cortisone. What if they are trained? What if they have trained them well and they get spoiled at school? Okay. <laughs> that is a very serious question. <laughs> Thank you. It is possible. It is possible. But let me tell you something. What your parent has input in you or the character they have put in you will surely be there. It is possible for a child to be well trained and on getting to campus decide to do something else. Yes, it is possible, Jessica. But as a parent, you must not also feel if you have done your part, that will serve as a means of preventing that child from engaging into court group or any bad act in society. Not because some people train their children and they decide to misbehave. Because of that, you want to misbehave that you should, there's no need of training your children again. No, you must. Well, no, it is not. It is not all parents that, or all children that are well trained by their parents that misbehave. We have some that misbehave even when they we have some children or pastors. Eh? When they leave the confinement of their parents and find themselves in university, in fact, what they do, you'll be so surprised. So, I uh, happen to be one of the union members during my day in the university. And we know everything that happened on the campus, on, on our campus. So many rubbish. Some, you see them at home, they are saints, but on campus, they are devil agents, the way they parade themselves, the way they use themselves. So it's happened, but it's not all. Mm? It is not all. Okay. So the truth is that parents should, most parents that teach their children very well, they will not go astray. As you are now, we have taught you different things. It's not only parents, because parents have their own rule. The society has its own rule. The school has its own rule. So if parents play, if the parent play their role, the school play its own role. The school play its own role. Understand? The school play its own role. The school play its own role, and uh, everybody do the needful in the society. You are sure that that child will not have a place to hide. But if parent fail and the child come to the society, it becomes a burden. But if parents, if the parents have done their part and the child come to the society, the child will not have a place to hide because the society will also do the, next, the needful to prevent that child from engaging in uh, court activities or any immoral arts that can disfigure and disorganize the peaceful coexistence in the society. Jessica, I have answered your question now. Let me unmute you. Are you satisfied? Yes, sir. Okay, all right. Thank you. Okay, 
I think um, there's nobody coming up with a question here. I will send my assignment soon. So please make sure you do my assignment. You know, as usual, you must do my assignment on now before 6 p.m. and submit. 6 p.m. on. I can see it again on Sunday. I can see Ronnie echoing it on Sunday. You must do the assignment and submit. I will not say I'm going to, but the assignment is going to be very log logical. Mm -hmm. I want to test your intelligence. Yeah, ben, and please let me say this for those of you that find it difficult to take to correction, please. On a weekly basis, I correct you on the methodological approach to questions. But some of you, you still repeat the same thing. Please, I'm not happy about that. Make sure you follow the corrections. That is what made you. I, I'm, I'm doing everything, not because of now alone, but because of your tomorrow, because of your SS3. When you imbibe all these principles and it grows with you, you will not have problem when you get to SS3. Thank you very much. God bless all of you and have a very beautiful